Yes, I can. Um, how did I do this last time? So, um, if I, okay, now I need to, I need to find, I need to figure out a way of doing this with a prop, like a sheet of elastic or something. So yes. basically, take this slightly dusty Jabra speakerphone. Let me get to my face cam so I'm bigger. Okay, so. Dispersion ellipses are ellipses, they're not circles, but let's just ignore that fact for a second and just pretend it's a circle like physicists do. In, in, in physics, everything's a sphere. So <laughs> in the game, everything's a circle. So imagine this is your dispersion ellipse. So your dispersion is made up of two figures, your horizontal dispersion, which is this dimension, and then your vertical dispersion, which is this dimension. So when you when you shoot your guns, your shells have RNG dispersion that goes up and down, which is your vertical dispersion, and left and right. So the, the shells will spread out randomly this way and this way. So you have two dispersion values. The dispersion value that's shown in the port, I think, is the horizontal dispersion. Yes. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm fairly certain that is the horizontal dispersion. For some reason, the vertical dispersion is not shown in the UI, although you can find it on wowsft.com and various other websites as well. Um, so what that means is like close to your ship, because your guns are all spread out across the ship, your it's dispersion of lips at very close ranges will be the same shape as your ship, basically. So like long and, th and thin going away from you. As you go away from the ship, it becomes, it goes from being this shape, it goes to being circular, and then it becomes this shape. Um, because vertical dispersion tends to be a lot bigger than horizontal dispersion and so your shells will tend to spread out more across the water and um, going away from your ship and so as you go away dispersion ellipse tends to change shape a little bit but it depends on which ship you're firing and what range and all that kind of stuff but let's ignore that for a second and just pretend it's a circle so you've got dispersion which has one dimension in this simplified world so dispersion is the width across the circle and that is the maximum width that the maximum radius or diameter, I suppose, of um, where your shells can fall. So it is impossible for your shells to fall outside of your dispersion ellipse. And the um, the value that's shown in the port is at your maximum current fitted range. So you'll notice, for example, if you increase your range somehow by like mounting AFT on a destroyer or by putting the range module on a cruiser, something like that, your dispersion will increase when you do that. That's because it's further away from you. Um, so that circle represents the area within which all of your shells will fall. Okay, that's dispersion. So bigger dispersion is bad. Smaller dispersion is good. Sigma is the distribution of the shells within that circle. Okay, So if you have a sigma which is very high, which in the game means values of like 2 point something, 2.2 .2 for example, that means that your shells will tend to group towards the center of the circle and very occasionally a shell will land towards the outside. And so if you were to take lots and lots of shots and take pictures of every shot and then plot them all on here, the middle would be very, very dark and full of shell marks and the outside would be very light and very few shells around the outside. If you have a sigma which is much, much lower, much it means that there's more chance of the shells landing towards the outside and this, the distribution across the circle is more even. So it's basically like it's standard deviations. So um, a sigma of one, I think, would be a standard deviation across the thing. A sigma of two would be double that standard deviation and so on. So um, a sigma of like a low sigma in the game of like 1.5, for example, would be a really bad sigma. That means that there's not that much chance of, of the shells landing in the middle compared to something like a Sigma 2.2, where there's a very good chance. So what happens is if you have, for example, a ship which has very large dispersion and very high Sigma, what that means is that the shells have a very large area they can land in, but they're very likely to land in the middle. That's going to give you a very kind of frustrating shotgunny kind of dispersion where generally speaking a lot of your shots will be like laser accurate bonk 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 and then occasionally you'll get one shell that just goes off and goes off into the middle of nowhere that's what large dispersion high sigma would look like 
the opposite end of that spectrum is small dispersion, low sigma, which would literally be like a shotgun, but a very consistent shotgun, where the area that all your shells land in is very small, but they're very spread out on every shot all the time, every time you fire. Um, which is fine as long as the thing you're shooting at is the same size as your dispersion ellipse. Um, and then lay everything in between. So if you have a, a ship which has very small dispersion and a very high sigma, that means that you get that same pattern of usually fall towards the middle, sometimes fall towards the outside, but the area is very small, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, and then the like opposite end of that would be large dispersion, very low sigma, where you've got a very big area, and also they're very spread out within that area. That would have been, for example, like the old German battleships dispersion, where it's just the shells always go everywhere, and, and the, the area they hit is the size of a map square. Yes. Does that um... make sense two ships to consider so on the bad end of the scale a ship like new mexico has low sigma and relatively wide dispersion and so you get this sort of very all over the place shot pattern a ship with very low dispersion and very high sigma is stalingrad which is notorious for its ability to put nine shells through the same hole So, um, so yeah, so you want the ideally you want the combination of low dispersion, high sigma. But again, sigma is not shown in the UI. You need to go to an external resource like, for example, potatoes. <laughs> Super the site that I'm about to X100. put in the chat. Best it sigma tends explanation to be I have ever heard. In the dev Thank log, you. when they announce ships' details, the sigma is usually given. Uh, yes, that's true, actually. They've started putting it in the dev block, yeah. But if you ever want to know what the vertical dispersion, horizontal dispersion at maximum range and the sigma of a ship is with different setups, go to wowsft.com. I've just put the link and you can do it yourself and you can actually look and see.